do was to pay homage to the people who had paved the way to, 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 to actually have the right to vote. And this painting, the original painting, was seven feet long. It's a really big painting. And um, what it deals with is the cause and the effect of oppression and racism. So uh, one of the highest forms of to deter African Americans from voting was lynching. And the lynching installed fear and controlled the mind. Once the mind was controlled, then the oppressed began to do the work of their oppressor. And so our people at that point started to hold themselves back. Mm -hmm. And they actually gained the right to vote. They don't exercise the right to vote. And the majority of them do it based on fear. They think that it's a trap, especially black men who won't go vote because they think it's a police trap or you know, some type of thing, like which it was at those at that time. They would say, okay, come here and vote, and then they would, you know, brutalize and, and lynch and kill, you know, our men. And um, the flag in the background is muted because it, it wasn't living up to its colors of liberty and justice for all. Mm -hmm. And it's, the strings that's running down was to basically be symbolic of the flag crying in shame of what's happening beneath it in this country. The bloodstained ballot in the ballot box in 1965, the Year of Voting Rights Act was passed and um, so on and so forth. So it was just a message to uh, our people at the time when I painted it to get out and vote. Like, like really get out and vote. All you have to do is go down and go vote. You know, and, and this brother was going through a lot to cast his ballot and his fight still wasn't over because he still had, he still was in, within reach. With all this going on, he was still going to get there. And the three-fifths of the human being. The writings in the background of this piece are very unique. And for the first time, um, my mentor, uh, Gilbert Young, who's a very legendary artist who created the man reaching over the wall to lift up the other man, uh, he ain't heavy. And he said, well, you should take the piece out to the, uh, the community. So I took the piece to a voter's registration drive in the inner city. And what we did was we put the painting up on two easels because it was seven feet long. And we had registered voters write their thoughts and their dreams into the background of the piece of what the possibilities of electing the first African-American president. So what I wanted to do with this piece was capture the pulse before it happened, not knowing if it would happen or not, but just the feeling of the community. So I wanted the community in the piece. I wanted their feelings, not just mine, but their feelings as well. So all of these writings are from actual voters that wrote their thoughts into this. And if you get a chance to read some of these, they're, they're, pretty, they're pretty powerful. Um, so that's the right to vote.